Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve code forces round 952 division 4 third problem which is good prefixes. So here is the problem statement. Alex thinks some good array some array is good if there exists some element that can be represented as the sum of all other elements. Uh, the sum of all other elements is zero if there are no other elements. For example, the array this is good since 1 plus 3 plus 2 equal to 6. Okay. Further, the array 0 is also good. However, the array 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1 are not good. Okay. So yeah, uh, basically the thing is that uh, you have to, uh, uh, Alex is uh, telling good array uh, which has a sum, sum of all the elements other than one should be equal to the rest of, rest element which you have left. Okay. So yeah, Alex has an array this, this array, help him count the number of good non-empty prefix of the array. A. In other words, count the number of integers such that the length i prefix is good. Okay. So you have to check for the prefix array. Okay, so what is the prefix array? Let me explain you. So suppose uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, this is the given array. So your prefix array will be 1, then 1, 2, then 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so this is the these four are only the prefix array, not more than that. Okay, so I hope all of you understood this. So you have to check for the prefix array uh, whose um, sum of uh, n minus 1 elements should be equal to the uh, uh, last element that left okay uh, so how will we solve this so just take one test case this one okay so in this array suppose if you will choose 0 then uh, if you choose 0 as an uh, sub array okay prefix sub array so 0 is a summation of rest of the elements because in this array if you choose 0 so it is the sum of the elements left in the array so uh, the left uh, the left element in this array is no one so yeah it's true and uh, if you choose 0 and 1 okay 0 and 1 so this is uh, not a prefix array good prefix array according to the question why because if you choose 0 okay so the remaining element is 1 and 0 and 1 are not equal okay and if you choose 0 and 1 both then their sum is 1 and uh, which is not equal to 0 because the rest element inside the array is 0. Na? So 1 is not equal to 0. Okay. So this is not the uh, correct answer. So now we will take 0, 1 and 2. So again, uh, the sum of 0 and 1 is not equal to 2. So we cannot take this also. Again, 0, 1, 2 and 1. Okay. So this is the good array. Why? Because 0, this 0 plus 1 and this 1, which is equal to 2 and which is equal to this element. Okay. So this is one good array. And the last array is uh this one comma four so in this array if you take sum of these four elements then it is equal to this element so yeah its answer is three okay these three prefix arrays are the answer of this test case okay now if we take this test case okay so in this test case if you take one if you take one okay so let's take one so if you choose one so it is not equal to zero because if you choose one then the remaining element inside this array is no one so one is not equal to zero so you cannot take one okay but if you take one comma one this array okay so if you choose one then remaining element is one which is equal okay so yeah this is one array and now if you choose one one and zero so the sum of these two elements is equal to this element so yeah this array is also true now which array is true? Uh, 0, uh, 3, 5. Okay, now this array is true. So, I hope all of you under observed it, uh, obviously, because the sum of these four elements is equal to this element, 5. Okay, uh, now uh, if we take this whole array, then it is also a good array good prefix array actually because the sum of these uh, five elements 5 3 8 plus 2 plus 2 12 which is equal to this 12 so yeah its answer is 4 so i hope all of you understood this so how will we proceed this uh, so we will proceed this in the same way that firstly we have taken uh, input in this vector okay vn and uh, uh, we have taken here c in vj input and we will iterate through uh, first index okay that is index 0 Okay, and I am storing uh, max element in 
uh, mx variable okay so why we are uh, storing here we are storing here because uh, look here suppose uh, up to here 0 and 1 so your max element is 1 okay and if we will do the summation of these two 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 okay so let me explain you suppose uh, you have taken this array okay so up to this array up to this array your mx equal to 2 because you are storing the maximum value in this variable okay and what is the summation up to here so your summation up to here will be uh, 4 okay so if you subtract these two max element if you subtract max element from here okay if you subtract sum minus max and if it is equal to max so you just have to check this now key uh, if you will subtract this max element from rest of the element then the summation of the rest should be equal to max okay so just we are checking the same thing that i am storing here the max element and i am summing up all the elements and if mx is equal to sum minus max then we will count uh, we will increase the count of our answer and then we will print the answer so i hope all of you understood this still if you have any doubt you can comment down below